Just a follow up. The mast is now 53 feet elevated. The guy ropes are all in position. None of the cables did anything ugly. And the pin up here on the safety latch has dropped in. So the middle and the outer casing are locked. So that is in the right pot spot right there. I don't know if I can zoom in on that or not. But the little pin is dropped in, so we're good to go. And now the antenna is uh, able to release the tension on the winch. Uh, I rotated the hex 180 degrees. It's now facing due south, southwest. Just to give it a rotate test. All the cables came out fine. We didn't have any snags or uglies. So that's good. Now all I have to do is just uh, secure the power and uh, tie up the guy ropes a little bit and we're set. This is my tilt mast motor. This over here is my elevate mast motor. This one over here added weight on the other end because it pivots here at five feet. So any extra weight on that end was a good thing. So now I will just take and reverse the polarity on the lift motor and take its tension off. Maybe zoom in on that. There we go. If you watch the cable, there's a little wee tag down there on the cable. It's a red tape. Let's see here. Okay. And now the winch motor is not under distress. <sighs> Took a lot of engineering and planning. This whole thing just tilts right here on this um, shoulder. I just welded a uh, piece of pipe in there. I cut a piece of pipe in half and welded it in there to make a saddle. This whole thing would lift out. And when I take it apart, if I ever had to, each of the mast sections get pulled out when it's in a horizontal position and I can carry them away and they all weigh 100 pounds or less. Same thing goes with this uh, this base here. This base is a cubic yard of concrete I mixed by hand in 30 minutes. That was easy. I had a four-wheeler over here with a bucket of water and I had a, a pallet of concrete and I just poured the concrete in, added the water and stirred it. And then I had these uh, two poles here set up in the bottom and the concrete hardened and then I bolted on this winch motor and this is a blocking plate so it can't go any further and uh, there you have it pretty simple pretty sturdy probably three hundred dollars worth of metal and a whole lot of fun with my TIG welder so that is a tilt over hex beam and now if I want to Tilt the antenna, all I got to do is rotate it. I got it marked up there which colors are which side. Rotate it so that the hinge goes to the side. Unlock it and then start to turn it slightly downwind. And in that case, the thing will come down and then lock in the down position as it rotates toward the ground. When it's facing the ground, when it's facing toward me, then I just take the rotor and turn it around and bring it so it's on the high side like it was when we started this video. N4MQ, having fun. Good day.